All right, all right. Hey, welcome tonight to our Wednesday version of 30 and 30. We're going to call it Wicked Wednesday. We've got 80s Jess who's going to host. We're I'm going to be glad to turn things over to her in just a second. But uh, make sure you sign in to your score sheets tonight. And here we go with 80s Jess from New Hampshire. She's going to take it. All right. Thanks, Darren. Hello and welcome to 30 for 30 Trivia, 30 questions in 30 minutes. My name is Jess, I'll be your host today. Uh, this is my first time hosting and I'm coming to you live from Portsmouth, New Hampshire. We're gonna do some fun stuff tonight. We've got a 80s round, hence the get up. Um, so sit tight and enjoy. Um, feel free to tag us in a photo at Catch the Mania on Instagram or Facebook. Show us what you're up to and we will share it on our page too. There is a bit.ly link on your screen. If you go to that, you can find the score sheet um, and that link will be posted in the comments on Facebook and YouTube. All right, round number one, miscellaneous multiples. You guys will have 30 seconds to answer any questions. And we'll get started now. All right, first question. What color is Donald Duck's bow tie traditionally? A yellow, B red, C blue, or D, white. Again, what color is Donald Duck's bow tie? All right, few seconds left and we will move on to round two. Question number two. Who directed The Goonies, Scrooged, Lethal Weapon, and the first modern superhero film, Superman, starring Christopher Reeve? A. Richard Donner, B. Chris Columbus, C. John Hughes, or D. John Landis? Again, that is who directed The Goonies, Scrooged, Lethal Weapon, and the first modern superhero film, Superman, starring Christopher Reeve? Couple seconds left. What question number three? What did Alfred Noble develop? A the atom bomb, B gunpowder, C dynamite, or D nobelium. Again, what did Alfred Noble develop? All right, couple seconds left. Inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as part of its first group of inductees in 1986 and had its first number one hit with Long Tall Sally, what artist died in May of 2020? A, Jerry Lee Lewis, B, Little Richard, C, Frankie Valley, or D, Chubby Checker. Again, inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as part of the first group of inductees in 1986 and had its first number one hit with Long Tall Sally, What Artist Died? All right, number five. What is the best-selling video game of all time, selling over 180 million copies across all platforms by late 2019, with over 112 million monthly active players. A, Minecraft, B, World of Warcraft, C, Final Fantasy, or D, Halo. Couple seconds left. Question number six. What is the last name of the two men, a father and son, who are in custody for killing 
Ahmed Arbery in Georgia, A. McDonald, B. McWhorter, C. McMichael, or D. McCall. What is the last name of the two men responsible for killing Ahmed Aubrey in Georgia? All right, question number seven. Adele performed the theme song to which Bond filmed? Casino Royale? Skyfall? Quantum of Solace? or Spectre. Adele performed the theme song to which Bond film? Casino Royale, Skyfall, Quantum of Solace, or Spectre? All right, question number eight. How many spaces are on a standard Monopoly board? A40, B50, C60, or D80? Again, how many spaces are on a Monopoly board? I'm sure a lot of people are playing that now, fill the quarantine time. Question number nine. What boxer was nicknamed the Hurricane? A, Leon Spinks. B, Manny Pacquiao. C, Reuben Carter. Or D, Larry Holmes. Again, what boxer was nicknamed the Hurricane? Question number 10, who said nature abhors a vacuum? A, Einstein, B, Aristotle, C, Newton, or D, Galileo? About halfway through the timer, get your answers down. All right, that is the end of round number one. Next, we'll be moving on to the 1980s round. If you're just joining us, you can go to the link on the screen and you can find the online score sheet. Uh, that link will be posted in the comments on YouTube and Facebook. Grab a piece of paper, write down your answers. All right. We are at round number two, which is 1980s themed. Totally tubular. All right, question number one. What was the first single off Bon Jovi's 1986 album, Slippery When Wet, which begins with the lyric, shot through the heart and you're to blame. Great song, sure we've all heard it. Shot through the heart and you're to blame, Bon Jovi. All right, got about a few seconds left. We move on to question number two. Question number two, Jordan Shumway was better known as what title TV character? Gordon Shumway was better known as what title TV character? Mm -hmm. 
All right, 15 seconds left. Get those answers down. All right, question number three. What actor appeared in five of the top 10 grossing films of the 1980s? Again, what actor appeared in five of the top 10 grossing films of the 1980s? All right, we've got about five seconds left. On to question number four. In 1984, who became the first female vice presidential nominee representing an American major political party? Again, in 1984, who became the first female vice presidential nominee representing an American major political party? All right, five seconds left. Question number five. Sometimes writing under his pen name of Richard Bachman, what author had a top 10 fiction book every year of the 1980s with the exception of 89? Based on Publishers Weekly bestseller list. Again, that's what author under the pen name of Richard Bachman had a top 10 fiction book every year of the 1980s, except for 89. Question number six. What country? What country's team did the U.S. Olympic hockey team beat in the gold medal round in 1980? Again, what country's team did the U.S. Olympic hockey team beat in the gold medal round in 1980? All right, on to question number seven. All right, this one's a classic 80s film. In Ferris Bueller's Day Off, what is the principal's full name? Again, that's in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. What is the principal's full name? Got about five seconds left here. Question number eight. What famed Massachusetts Democrat retired as Speaker of the House in 1987? What famed Massachusetts Democrat retired as Speaker of the House in 1987?
Five seconds left. Question number nine. On the show Cheers, what was the name of the restaurant above the bar? On the show Cheers, what was the name of the restaurant above the bar? Time's almost up on this one. On to question 10. The little people were first sold at arts and crafts shows, then later at Babyland General Hospital, but the toys grew to greater fame under what well-known name? The little people were first show sold at arts and crafts shows, then later at Babyland General Hospital, but the toys grew to greater fame under what well-known name? Got five seconds left on this one. That is end of round number two. Make sure you have your score sheets all filled out and we will be on to round number three. All right, coming up are the answers to round number one. Question number one, the answer is red. The color of Donald Duck's bow tie, red. Question two, the answer is A, Richard Donner, director of The Goonies, Lethal Weapon, and Superman. Question three, the answer is C, Dynamite, developed by Alfred Noble. Question number four, the answer is B, Little Richard. Question number five, best-selling video game of all time, A, Minecraft. Question number six, the answer is C, McMichael. Question number seven, Adele performed the theme song to B, Skyfall. Question number eight, there are 40 spaces on a Monopoly board. Question number nine, Reuben Carter is the boxer nicknamed the Hurricane. Question number 10, the answer is D, Aristotle. All right, we will be moving on to round three soon. If you're just joining us, uh, you can go to the bit.ly link on the screen, which is in the comment section and you can get a copy of the score sheet. All right, round number three. You don't know Zach, Zach, or Zach. All right, this round consists of visual clues. Each clue is an image of a person named Zachary, or Zach with an H, Zach with a CK, or just Z-A-C, name the Zach. All right, question number one, name the Zach. We are looking for last name. Got about 15 seconds left on this one. Zach number two. 
All right, we need this handsome guy's last name. Fifteen seconds left for question number two. And on to number three. All right. What is this athlete's last name? Halfway done with question number three. All right, question number four. This is actually pretty familiar. Who is this guy? About five seconds left on this one. Question number five. Halfway done here. On to Zach number six. Fifteen seconds left. All right, question number seven. Guys, yeah, got about five seconds left on number seven. You're on to Zach, number eight. I don't think I realized how many famous Zachs there were. About halfway done here, 15 seconds left. All right, Zach number nine. Looks a little bit older than the other Zachs here. <laughs> Fifteen seconds left. All right. We've got our last Zach for of the day right here.
15 seconds left to guess Zach, number 10. All right, that is the end of round three. And next we will be giving you guys the answers to round number two. All right, 1980s round. All right, question number one. The answer is You Give Love a Bad Name by Bon Jovi. Number two, Gordon Shumway was better known as Elf. Number three, Harrison Ford appeared in five of the top 10 grossing films of the 80s. Number four, Geraldine Ferra Ferraro was the first female vice presidential nominee. Number five, Stephen King. Number six, the US hockey team beat Finland in the gold medal round. Question seven, Ferris Bueller's principal was Ed Rooney. Question number eight, Tip O'Neill was the Democrat from Massachusetts. Question number nine, Melville's was the restaurant above the bar. Ah, question number 10, Cabbage Patch Kids were known as little people at arts and craft shows. All right, coming up. You don't know Zach, we got your answers. Zach number one, musician Zach Brown. Zach number two, one of my favorite Zachs, Zach Efron. Zach number three, Zach Grenke, baseball player. All right, from The Hangover, we've got Zach Galifianakis. Number five, we've got Zach Braff from Scrubs. Zach number six, Zachary Quinto. Zach number seven, Zachary Levi. Number eight, we've got uh, Zach Smith from the NHL. Number nine, we've got Zachary Taylor. And Zach number 10, we've got Zach Snyder. All right, thank you guys for playing. Um, this is 80s Jess signing off. Hopefully we'll see you guys again um, and be sure to check us out next week. Uh, check out Facebook and see what days we are doing more live trivia.